Welcome back into the show. Let's go inside markets to see some prominent media moves. Evan Lucas from IG with me now. Well, Evan, you know, we began the show with this uh, mega deal, if it is to occur, between uh, certainly Time Warner and uh, news 21st century fox intriguing the charts that have been generated overnight just to be yep. looking and seeing and observing the last time big bets were made and deals as it were consummated we were at the top of markets let's animate into this just walk me through it yeah, if you have a look at those charts, they go back over the last sort of two and a half decades with regards to what has happened as News Corp or 21st Century Fox, whatever you want to call it. They had obviously the Chris Craft deal in 2000. They paid roughly around about $5.3 billion. And if you have a look at that graph right there, you can see after the fact it happened right at the top of their chart, they then fell off almost 50% from that, wow. uh, that point all the way through to around about 2003. Ramped all the way back up again, then they got to 2007, paid the same amount, so 5.6 this time, a little bit more, for the Wall Street Journal and fell 50% after the fact. Mm. The question now is the deal that we're talking about, dwarfing that completely, that absolute massive deal at 80 billion US dollars, could go to 85. Have we called the top there as well? And that's certainly what the chart is, is talking about, whether or not that deal that we saw for Time Warner yesterday Big movements in those share prices as well. You already saw a 4% drop mm. in, in, in Fox overnight, and you saw a 17.5% jump in Time Warner. There is talk. Could there be another white knight out there to possibly rescue Time Warner from, from the takeover from, from Fox? I think listening to what you're coming out of Rupert Murdoch, he wants it, and he wants it bad. Mm. He sees $1 billion worth of, of synergies. That is a huge amount of savings to be made. So there is certainly room there, and he looks like he certainly wants to get his hands on that deal as much as he can. But... Yep. Is that going to be the top of, of where 21st century currently sits? Yeah, and combine that report, 65 billion in revenue annually. So it's intriguing. Thanks to Zero Hedge, incidentally, uh, for that graphic. Uh, anything else in the space that's you know, on your radar? Yeah, again, the media space continue to watch what's going on with Southern Cross Media. They've had some news out this week with regards to their CFO. We've seen Peter Lewis leaving the company. It does make Reese Holland, uh, Hollander's job even more tricky considering they've lost 60 cents in share value since mm. the top in November last year at $1.70. There is still talk out there that Nine is still watching them. They certainly would have really nice synergy assets to come in, but that's the biggest news is, again, Southern Cross is probably on the downward pressure. Mm. Management now starting to see a bit of a walk away, and that is probably the most major news we've seen on the Australian front with regards to the markets. Evan, appreciate that wrap. Thanks, as always. Just staying on that Southern Cross media story, James, uh, intriguingly, uh, a statement of the exchange uh, just in the last couple of days, normally a company secretary would, would file that one. It was the CEO, Reese himself. Yeah, just this morning that came out. Yeah. That, um, yeah, and it's a bad time to lose your CFO. Just after the financial year's closed, yeah. he'd be, um, you know, up to his neck in the... Uh, preparing the uh, financial data mm. to give to the ASX and then to sort of sell to the market. So uh, the release does say he's going to stay on till um, suitable transition arrangements are right. being made. So whether that means he'll be presenting the uh, financial year figures or not, we're not sure. Are you hearing any reasons why? No. No, I mean, he, he went in there and we speculated, well, he was a... He was a it was a big signing, you know, come from seven. Yeah. Um, it was a big get for Southern Cross. Um, and we thought, OK, is this a, a sign that they will be going into a, a big a merger deal or something? But, you know, but, so if you want to continue on that path, mm. does that mean the proposed deal might have fallen over? And, and was there a sense as well that he was being potentially lined up to one day take the helm proper? Um, no, as, as CFOs often you know, want to I didn't really hear any of that, but yeah, potentially. Right, yeah. OK. So there we have it. James, uh, lots ahead uh, with James Manning from Media Week. Uh, when we come back, uh, some agency spending figures. We've got those for you as well. And what's going on at 10? Uh, is there light at the end of the tunnel or is it a blackout story writ large? Stick around. Yeah.